I'm Jean Botha. I'm a transplant surgeon at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. I'm director of the uh, Living Donor Liver Transplant Program, as well as uh, directing our hepatobiliary uh, surgery part of our program. In the field, to call it HPB, uh, which is hepatobiliary and pancreatic surgery, uh, is the, the, the term we generally use. And that refers to surgery of the liver, the bile ducts, and the pancreas. And uh, our hepatobiliary program uh, was established as an offshoot of our liver transplant program when we felt that we could offer patients uh, who didn't require transplantation but required surgery principally for uh, tumors of the liver, the pancreas, and the bile ducts. Uh, and we felt we could offer these patients uh, the best care in the region uh, to be able to deal with these problems. So these are mainly cancers that we deal with, pancreatic cancer, uh, liver cancer, whether it's primary liver cancer that's arisen in the liver itself or it's a can cancer that's spread to the liver from somewhere else. The commonest being uh, colon cancer that spreads to the liver and uh, removing a uh, portion of the liver to take care of that cancer. Uh, that, that is what we're generally referring to when we're talking about hepatobiliary surgery. The neuroendocrine tumor program started uh, as a result of a grateful patient who, uh, again, part of our hepatobiliary uh, program, uh, patient needed a, a liver resection. Uh, she had a metastatic neuroendocrine tumor in her liver. We treated her uh, through a series of operations, uh, eradicated all of these tumors. And uh, being the grateful patient that she was, she uh, urged us to uh, start looking into this disease uh, and start a clinic for patients who really are being underserved by this. So we now have an established uh, tumor clinic uh, where we have it, we partner with medical oncologists, uh, we have our own nurse, uh, we're starting to set up a registry uh, for patients to be able to collect data in terms of not only the clinical data but also tissue specimens whether it be blood, urine, uh, segments of tumor for future use uh, and for, sh for collaboration with other centers when clinical and research questions need to be ans asked and answered. We're also trying to advance the science here by s it getting new tests available that are not available, uh, principally the one we're, we're attempting to get started right now, something called the gallium scan for neuroendocrine tumor patients which is available outside of this country but not yet FDA approved and we're working hard to try and with the university and the hospital to try and get this at the UNMC again to make us a, a leader in the field and we feel that this is one a place where people can come to uh, where they'll be able to get all the treatment that they require be seen by specialists in the field uh, whether it be oncologists, surgeons, hepatologists, gastroenterologists, interventional radiologists. These are all people that have partnered up with us uh, in this enterprise and uh, we really feel that this will allow people to get all the care they require at one place.